Hello everyone, this is Darwell20, and welcome to episode 23 of Darwell20's... No, not 23, 43. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Ocean Block series. Yeah, I know what episode number I'm at. Sure. Yes. Okay. Anyway, uh, as you can see, I've made a bunch of modules uh, ready to play with uh, in, in my Wyvern tier gear that we've gotten. Uh, in addition to those, uh, what I've done... Oh, I have quests to complete. Oh, mechanism. Yes. What did I do for mechanism? Oh, I made the crusher. That's right. Sweet. Ring of magnetization. Not bad. Uh, in addition to that, I've added to my to-do list up here modules that I can't yet craft yet. The Wyvern Undying module. Doesn't look hard to make. Uh, I really just need a Totem of Undying, which, you know, I think I could probably get. Uh, and I might do right now. Because uh, all I need to do to fill this up is sacrifice and good to go. So if I did this, and then I had you, and then did that, and then did that, he should fill up no problem. And ta-da, LP. Nice. I like it. Works for me. I'm going to get an extra one, just in case. And then I can put you back in there, and everybody's happy. I can recharge this. And then put the dagger back in my backpack. Perfect. And I'm purposely not eating at the moment, because I want to try out the auto-feed module. Uh, so I'm, I want my hunger to be low. So some auto-feeds will fill your saturation all the way up. Other auto-feeds will only fill up your ham hocks and not your saturation all the way. I like when it fills the saturation all the way. Uh, and, and the best way to test that to see what it's going to do is to have, you know, not much going on down there. Like, not enough hunger, obviously, like I have now. And then we'll see what happens. Cool. So, oh, it's raining. I hate the rain. Back in a minute when I can sleep through this. All right. Slept through the night. Finally. Uh, so where was I? What was I doing? Oh, yes, things. Yeah, we wanted that uh, undying module. Right. Yes. So I want you. And then undying. Hooray! That's cool. I like that. All right, so let's check out some of these modules. Also, I think I figured out how the configuration screen works, and it is like I expected. So in my Wyvern chest piece, I installed a speed module, which gives you a plus 25% speed, max installable eight. So note that you can stack a lot of these things. Uh, some of them, yes, some of them, no. Uh, you know, I guess, you know, auto feed, max installable one. Right, so that doesn't make sense to an auto feed, but yeah. But then once once something is in there that you can configure, like the speed module, you can open up your item configuration GUI and you can adjust, you know, these numbers. Now, one thing that I did note, which I hate, is that equipping the speed module messes with your FOV. So how do I turn that off again? There it is. Aha, better. Much better. That's cool. Now, what, what bugs me is I kind of like the FOV change when you when you start sprinting, but like I don't want the FOV to change when I have walk speed increase. So that's like a little, it's just, it's, an, it's a nitpick, but it's a nitpick that is like for reals for me. But if I wanted to, what I could just do is have you not mess with my walk speed at all, but only mess with my sprint speed. So that way when I install it, it doesn't mess with my FOV normally unless I'm sprinting and then it will. That might be a thing. Like I, I don't know. I feel like if you're gonna modify walk speed, don't mess with the FOV. That's always my thing. But in fairness, this is like an early version of Draconic. Maybe, you know, that's a bug that he'll he'll resolve and hopefully yes. Um, you know, it's, it is pretty newly released, so. Anyway, that's what the modifier does. Now, there's also the advanced config, and it looks like you can create property groups. And then if you click on a on a thing, you can see which properties to modify. So like sprint speed, I can click and drag up to here. Or I can just, you know, there's other things I can do, but and then click and drag to move this group, toggle global mode toggle preset mode so I can do this and then put you in preset mode apply preset I, I don't really know yeah I don't know what preset mode does it looks like you can
maybe somehow, some way, bind a key to be able to activate a preset. But I'm not super sure, and I'm probably not going to worry too much about it. But And then you can drag all this to the garbage. So I'll play with this a little bit if we find a need for it. But for now, you can just kind of, like, adjust what some of these modules do. So let's install some things, right? Um, now, can I Shift-C? Oh, I can. Awesome. So I can equip you, and I can hit Shift-C at any time. Oh, that's neat. And what I should be able to do is click on which of these mod which of these things I want to modify. So here's your sword, here's your bow, here's your chess piece. Awesome. Which means I don't have to take off the chess piece in order to install things. So first of all, let's install a Wyvern Shield Capacity Module number one. Uh, does this have a max? It doesn't say that there's a max installable. So maybe not. Now if I close this, no shield installed. I Strongly disagree. There's 100% a shield capacity module installed. Maybe I actually need... So there's one thing I didn't know. Shield control module. And that does require a dragon heart. So maybe I need a dragon heart and I need this shield capacity... The shield control module. Let's see. Shield... Let's do draconic shield. So there's... Higher tier control modules. It looks like it's just a cooldown comes down and the max install is one. And then there's capacity modules, which I guess increase your capacity. Oh my, look at that. That's cool. I like that. That is really neat. I love that. That's very Factorio. That's very Factorio. Undying module. Oh, look at that. Cool. And then you can see how long it's charging. Nice. So uh, shield boost, invulnerable for a couple seconds. Charge time is a minute and a is two minutes. Health boost, okay, that's neat, max installable one. So with this installed, if I were to die, it should boost my health and keep me alive. And then it would need to recharge again for two minutes before it can do it again. That's really cool. That's really cool. I like this. All right, what else we got in here? Auto fire module. I want the wyvern jump module and the hill step assist, which is a two by two. That's neat. I like everything about this. And then the auto feed module. I don't know how this works. How do I get you food? How do I get you food? Consume food, yes. Okay, but this is food. I want you to know that. Steak. How about just raw pork chops? Oh, hello. Sweet. Okay, so it looks like it doesn't recognize this as food. Okay. So can I... Oh, yeah, you got food in there. Sweet. Stored food, 9,600 points. Food storage, 150 hunger points. Now, how high does it get me? Does it... It looks like it doesn't fill your saturation all the way up. A little bit of a bummer. I do I do like when it when it does the whole thing. Does it have to be on my in my hand to consume it? Or is it full now? Eh, it's full now, so I can't really tell. But that's kinda cool. Okay, that's neat. So you are almost fully charged, which means you'll stop draining power in a sec. Oh cool, I got a little ding. And look at that, there's a little icon down there. Look at the little icon. See it on the bottom left? Right? There-ish. Look at that. That's cool. So no shield is installed yet. All right. Cool, 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 cool. So now let's install some bow stuff. Uh, I want velocity, which, by the way, has a max installable 8. Damage doesn't indicate a max installable. So if I take damage out, 6.9 attack damage. If I put 1 in there... 8.6 attack damage. If I put another in there, 10.3 attack damage. I suspect that this thing can get pretty ridiculous. Uh, oh boy, that thing's a... That's neat. The penetration module is pretty big. Uh, the accuracy module is a 2 by one so that increases your accuracy a bit. 10,000 RF per shot. I definitely need to get infinity on this bad boy. Uh, and then I didn't do anything with sword modules yet. Um... What, what what kind of sword module should I do? Damage? Does that sound cool? I'm going to need potions of strength. What else would be good on a sword? I don't think there's much else unless I want the AoE module. I think that's it for sword. Um, 
I can only assume that speed can't go into sword. Maybe it could. You know what I could do? Uh, let's take speed out of you and try to put it in a sword. Does that do anything? It doesn't seem like it's any any faster, right? But what's interesting is I can't put the auto fire in here. This module is not supported. But, okay. So I can put speed modules in there. Interesting. I can put speed modules in there. So I don't know if that's a bug that I can accidentally put speed modules in there, but they don't do anything. Or if it decreases the recovery time of the sword. But that said... Can I... Nope, no configurations for that. Because this is pretty fast to recover. I can't tell if it's faster. It might be marginally faster, but it's so fast on its own, it's hard to be sure. So, meh? We'll see. We'll see. Um, but let's put you back in here. Cool. And let's get some strength potions. So that's going to be a couple blaze. And a glowstone... I think I want three blaze, by the way. Strength two. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Strength one. It's best to just trash these water bottles when that happens. Trust me. All right, cool. And then you guys can all go in there. And let's get a better sword damage module. Sweet. I should teach the recipes for these, by the way. Um, only by virtue of the fact that I'm probably going to need... Since I can have multiple upgrades in each one, like, you know, we can have up to... I, it doesn't indicate a limit on how many Wyvern damage modules I could put in here. I assume I could put, you know, 20, and that would be fine. Some things indicate a limit, right? Max and solvable auto fire module is one. Uh, there was a couple that was eight, but yeah, I mean, that's good times. Liking this. So yeah, the only bummer is that... So let's see what happens when I take damage here. So it doesn't fully saturation me, which is a little bit of a bummer. I really like full saturation when I can. Um, now, if I have stakes in my inventory... Yes. Slightly annoying that it makes the, the eating sound, but not the end of the world. Right? I can live with that. Yeah, it's okay. It's not my favorite, but it's okay. I'll accept it. It's not bad. I'm going to put you away. My goodness, do I have a lot of junk in here that I don't need no more. Steel boots and leggings. Let's clear out this inventory real quick. So I feel like I don't really need much of this. Um, now I am super curious to find out how good my armor is, though. Let's put on three armor, four armor. These are better. I've got Terra Steel leggings. Those are probably the best leggings I have. Uh, seven armor, 3.5 toughness. Six armor through. Oh, actually, no, the Aetherium. Okay. Yeah, steel boots. Why not? Cool. Because um, I'm going to go fight the Ender Dragon, I think, with this super powerful bow. Sound fun? Uh, now, one thing I wouldn't mind trying. Let's real quick get a Iron Crafter. So you are going to be auto-crafting. Should I move you to the auto-crafting line or maybe into the basement? Might not be a terrible idea. Might not be a terrible idea. So let's set you up to auto-craft, and then we're going to go into the end to fight the dragon. Deal? All right, so you trash up that nonsense. Um, and I want to test to see if we can make you auto-craft in a cool way. So what I'm going to want... Do you guys have power? I assume you do. Yeah, you have that stuff there. So let's... Let's equip you... Oh, time for a new pickaxe anyway. 
Can I just get another one of those ones that I had? I know I can make a wyvern pickaxe right now, but I don't know that that's what I want. So I'm just going to request that this thing make some more refined obsidian. And then I'll make a new one of those. Hear it working up there? Shouldn't be too big a deal. And at some point, maybe I'll get the wyvern pickaxe, but I feel like that's a tool for when you actually have to mine. Like, that's not a good tool for, like, I'm around my base working. You know what I mean? Alright, so ultimate universal cable. And then also, let me just check chess piece configuration. So run jump boost. Let's put that all the way up. Jump boost. Let's put that all the way up. Cool. I like it. Sweet. I like this. This is cool. All right. So potion brewer will go here. Uh, we're probably going to want on top to have the crafter. Perfect. And then behind, we're probably going to want to export bus some blaze powder. And let's see how sidedness works. So orange blaze input can come from any side. So what we're going to do is this with cables like that. You're going to export this with a crafter card because we may need to craft the blaze, which I hope my ace, my system knows how to craft, but if it doesn't, we'll live. I'll gonna just add it later. Cool, and then, sweet. So then he should be, oh, no, 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 no. Brewing input, oh, oh, oh. Let's make you not the back. Yeah, now we're cooking, cool. In fact, let's make you not any side except the top will be the input for the potion brewer, right? And then you will only accept from the back. That way it never accidentally inserts blaze powder from the top because we need strength potions, right? And blaze powder, yeah. Uh, and then yellow is bottles. Let's make bottles also input from the back. I think you know how to make bottles. Do you know how to make bottles? You do not know how to make bottles, but that's okay. We'll, we'll add that to the to-do. So the back can also import, export boss and bottles. Yes, beautiful. And then blue is water. We need to get water into there. Uh, I think it's entangling time. I mean, I could, but I need two more sides and it's just gonna get just gonna get annoying so let's do that let's do entangler uh, so we're gonna want another exporter for fluids right all right so you into here you into here we're just gonna quickie link you to this okay and then the exporter that i requested will be of type fluid for water yeah boom right cool nice all right so then for the recipes okay let's say that we wanted a projectile so that needs a potion of strength too. Okay, so that would be gunpowder plus glowstone plus blaze plus wart. All right, so nether wart, gunpowder, blaze and glowstone in that order-ish. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do here, why you rain again? Dyer trying to record, rain annoying. Okay, so then for you, 
what it's realistically going to be is these items go in. Hopefully they insert in this order. And then it should spit out three of these, right? Why are you not changing to three? It should. One potion. Why are you not doing three? You should do three. Hmm. Hmm. That's weird. So that works. I wonder if that's a bug. Hmm. Alright, so you're going to go in, in here. What I'm going to do, Splash Potion of Strength. That should actually be Splash Potion of Strength 2, shouldn't it? Yes, good. Okay. Okay, so let's see what happens if I want a Splash Potion of Strength 2. Ooh, I actually have one, so that's cool. So let's actually take this back. I'm going to see if I can do this. Yeah. That should work. So Splash Potion of Strength 2. Let's see if you insert in the right order. You kind of don't. Urgh. You kind of don't. Do you? How do I solve that one? That's going to be a challenge, y'all. Let's try... How does this locking thing work? Locks and unlocks. Can I put glowstone and gunpowder at the end here? And maybe... Like that? Can we do that? Could that do what I want it to do? That could be cool. Meh? Yeah. That might be a solution. Is it though? Because when it's locked, I don't think it lets... Yeah, so I think the problem is when it's locked, it's not letting anything else in there. And that's a little bit of a bummer. Unless I pre-stage it in there. So I guess that means there's three types of potions I could automate. We could do that. So what kinds of potions have I needed to make? I think speed, strength... Let me review the potion types I need. If there's only three potion types I need, I think I can do this with this. So it's just speed, strength, and leaping that I need. If we care about gravity compensation, slow falls one, but we could always just do that manually. Um, speed, strength, and leaping, I think, is what I'm going to need. So leaping is rabbit's foot, right? So let's do rabbit's foot. Let's do sugar. And let's do blaze. And that should cover all our potential scenarios. Okay. So if we were to do this. Run with redstone signal. You, you, and you. And then we're going to need the nether wart, the glowstone and the gunpowder again. And then we lock these, and then we take them all out, and then they've got the ghost image on them. And then we get rid of these, because you're gonna be annoying. Boop, boop, boop. Cool. So now if I say I want a strength two potion, that shouldn't be a problem. Water, awkward, strength, 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 
Why are you no working, actually? Actually, yeah, no, that's a very good question. Why are you not working? All right, something weird happened there. I got to imagine that was something weird, right? Let's try that again. Gunpowder, blaze. Nether wart. Uh, what else was it? Uh, rabbit foot. And glowstone, right? So you... What do you... Oh, you ate it? You ate it even though redstone mode is enabled? Oh, I hate you so much. So let me take these out. No, no, stop for a sec. No. Only work on redstone signal for a minute, would you? Thanks, chief. All right, take these out. It consumed the item even though, and that's why it got all gummed up and weird, right? So, cancel. Let's reset this up. So you're locked. So you need nether wart. Blaze. Rabbit's foot. Speed. Glowstone gunpowder. Locked. Removed. Put away. Glass bottles. Good. Now if I ask for it, strength two, he will hopefully insert and do the thing. Why? Why indeed? You're being, you're being annoying. All right, I'm gonna have to find another way to do this then, because I think with locked brewing inputs, we're in trouble, and it's not working the way I want it to, right? You guys, I guess, can go in there, but just to be sure, I am doing this right, correct? Boop, 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 boop. This should do the thing. And this is what I want it to spit out. Okay, so just saying. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm going to have to play with this a little bit to figure out how to make it automatable. It might be trickier than it seems because the other problem is we want to extract specific potions out of it and we'd have to know when to extract those potions um because here's the real rub i could say only extract splash potions of strength too right but <laughs> here's the problem is that other upgrades like the wyvern module damage needs strength too not splash potion of strength too so i was hoping i could get away with getting both and then the tier one needs strength one. So like, I can't filter what to extract out of the crafter uh, easily. I mean, the, like your best bet is probably having one crafter per potion that you're crafting, but then I'm gonna need like six to 10 crafters and that doesn't sound fun. That sounds like the boring way to do it, like the boring and easy way to do it, not the fun and exciting way to do it or like interesting. So this may be more complicated of an automation than I thought. Um, so what I'm going to have to do, probably, is come up with a solution. So maybe we'll work on this a little bit more next episode. Uh, but yeah, so for now, I think it's wrapping up point. So we got some cool upgrades going. We got some nifty gear going. Let's wrap up here, right? Boing! And uh, do more... <clears throat> with this whole automation thing next episode. So we'll call this like part one of potion brewer automation. And worst case, we could always just manually craft things, but it would be fun to come up with a good way to automate this. But then we definitely have to go kill the dragon. So hopefully that'll happen next episode too, depending on how long it takes me to come up with a solution for the potion brewer. Anyway, wrapping up point. Daryl 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Take it easy.